Okay, this is just an extension to the question number nine, I think it was, from the October 2019 International A-Level. Um, just something that I wasn't quite happy with in terms of an explanation. Um, we, I, I mentioned that we should know that the sine of an angle is the same. The sine of an angle, let me just put this right, that the sine of an angle is the same as the cosine of 90 minus the angle and vice versa. So the cosine of an angle is the same as the sine of 90 minus that angle. So what I'm going to do now Okay, it's just to sh just show you how that actually works. Okay, just so that it's clear to you. Um, how's this thing gonna work? It wants to be an isosceles. Okay, I'll have to just draw it manually, no problem. Okay, so I, I need to draw a right angle triangle, which I'll just draw like this. So you have a right angle triangle. And so this is a right angle. So we can use Socato on this angle. So let's call this angle theta. Now if this angle is theta, then this angle is going to be 90 minus theta. Okay, because they have to add up to 180 degrees. So 90 plus theta plus 90 minus theta will add up to 180 degrees. Okay, if that's 90 degrees taken up, there's 90 degrees left in this triangle. So if that's theta, that must be 90 minus theta. Those two will add up to 90, and there's a 90, that's 180 degrees. Okay, so if I find the sine of this angle here, let's say this, this side is um, x, and this side is y, and this side is z. I can say the sine of the angle theta is equal to x over z, opposite over hypotenuse. And if we think about it, the cosine of this angle here 90 minus theta is also equal to x over z because this is adjacent over hypotenuse. So therefore sine theta is the same as cosine of 90 minus theta. Okay, so that's where that rule comes from. And obviously if I say, uh, you know, the cosine of this angle is y over z, then that's equal to the sine of this angle, which is the sine of 90 minus theta y over z, so the cosine of theta is also equal to the sine of 90 minus theta. So that's where that rule, that's one way to show that rule. Okay, that's one way to show that rule that I said that we kind of uh, should know. And how did we relate it to this question? Because for us in this curve, because y is sine x over 12, this, this, this here represents our 90 degrees, pi over 2, which is, um, if you multiply by 12, gives you 6 pi. So this represents the 90 degrees in this particular curve of, in, in this shape. So that's why we say that the other angle is 6 pi minus alpha in that case. But this is just a proof for that particular rule that I said we should know. Okay.